Good afternoon, everybody in Significant Fellow here, and welcome back to the front room that's now sort of usable to record in. Might be a little bit echoey, but I am. Um, what can be done? But today we're joined by a collection of cutlery, water, and a mysterious brown box. It can only be one thing. It's a big ass French combat ration thing. Yeah. Uh, pretty, not much matter to that date. I bought it one after that point, but I, I, I really don't think it matters. It's in this bag, in this box, and then in another bag. I'm sure it's fine. But yes, I got this from a shop in Handley, near where I live. They uh, mainly do stuff like airsoft weapons, military paraphernalia, and amongst all of that, they actually sell these. And yes, this is a French one. I, uh, we got talking a little bit. Apparently, the French. I think it's the general one, or the, the one for the slightly upper people. Actually has a bottle of wine inside it, but I wasn't prepared to pay 90 quid to find out if it did or not. This was 30. So, um, yeah. Just like always, my wages have run straight out of the toilet. Oh dear. Angle you up a little bit. I feel we may need that. So, yeah. It's a box. No idea what any of it will say because it's in French. Yummy. Okay, yes, here we go. It's a collection of points. Travel, lunch, lightweight food. It's in every language other than British. Perfect. Lightweight food, that's all I think, just lightweight food. Ingredients, flocons, the ce ah, cereal. Now, I didn't re remember much of French, but I believe that's breakfast. There we go. I am sat in a chair that's far too low for this video. Does this cushion come off this? It does. Hang on. This is my new style, by the way, of it not pressing the pause button. Oh god, when I make a mistake. That's what just smashing the table to bits. There we go, so we've got breakfast. How do you make it? No idea. Probably need milk. We've got biscuits de campaign. Campaign? Champagne? Biscuit sales. <laughs> no idea what they are. I've dropped it. Noir. 70% of it. Now I'll lay. Bon Appetit. Neff. <laughs> I just like the name of that company. Oh god, it's dust. Creamed champignons. Mushroom soup. It's mushroom soup. And I've opened it thinking it would be a... Well, not much, not that. Ah, here we go. Here's some napkins or toilet roll, depending on how far away you are from the nearest anything. We've got some preparation in... Dante. I believe this will be instant coffee and uh, instant maybe tea. I can't. I don't know. Did the French drink tea? I've never really questioned it before. I can't imagine they want to, since the cake doesn't really be any passion. Oh my God! It's a it's a <laughs> heating kit. I'm not going to use this because um, I'm in a I'm in a you know, I'm in a confined room surrounded by wooden furniture on a wooden floor on a wooden table with a, a fabric cloth on it. So. Um, I'm going to keep that to her side, to be fair, should I ever go glamping in the future. And what have we got? Fromage fondue. Oh my god, it's got fondue in it. <laughs> With the, the, look at that man. That man looks like he's just seen something. Not something horrible. It's, he's got that look of he's just seen someone do something and he's just thinking, really? Did you do that? Like he's seen someone go through a solid red light or, you know, something... Stupid. Bar come on at Fruit Rouge. Nougat and fruit. That sounds horrible. Oh, oh, song. Oh, it's sandwich filler. Mmm. Tastes terrific. We've got strawberry f every phrase. And yogurt, I believe. Everything's in every language other than English. I'm starting to think the French don't like us. For some founded reason. Energy bar. Intense energy. Pate de fruit. Mixed drink. Ah, here we go. 
I'm prepared for at least one thing. I'll, oh, actually, no, I'll do that in a second. They're gonna go through everything first. That looks vile. Rugal. <laughs> Please don't be snails or slugs or frogs' legs or a pot noodle. Patty Salanta de Poo. I'll be really honest, this is a lot more substantial than the part of 2020. Then the British one I did uh, going back a fair while, so uh, yeah, I believe that <laughs> if it comes down to it, the French are probably going to have a little bit more strength than us. I'm going to keep this box to the side there, like that. Uh, I suppose we should start actually by making ourselves a drink. I've lost the powder. Does it just make one stick? 30 gram, 500. I don't know what 500 is. I'm going to say milliliters in snail. Oh yeah, dust me up, Scotty. I want there to be lots of isotonics in here. So I'm going to just... Like the dust, it looks like sand. It... <laughs> this isn't an energy drink, this is sand. They've been too bright and taking the shovel with it. Oh, certainly... oh god, I've ripped the packet all the way down the bloody side. That's what I get me down. Uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and say this is a 500 milliliter glass, is it? Who knows? I can use the box as a bin. And here's the massive jug of water. Hmm. What a colour. I believe that is uh, more locally known as canal water. Yummy. It just looks like sand. A water around Blackpool looks this colour. La la la. I'll go the other way. I should probably stop dinging that. The dog will wonder what on earth I'm doing. Give it a quick taste. It looks like tea, actually. It smells like it. Oh! <laughs> oh, God! It tastes like... Oh, it tastes like soluble paracetamol! Oh! Oh, boom! Oh, God, that's not nice at all! Fuck you, France! Oh! Oh, right, you know what, we're gonna melt into some little bits. Let's try a pate de fruit. Let's try a pate de fruit. There we go. Oh my god, it's a lump off. It's a lump of lump. Covered in sugar. Nothing, it smells like nothing. It smells like the box it came in. Nibble a bit off. Hmm. Not unpleasant. Not massively pleasant. Middle brand. I suppose if you're in the middle of a trench, met a gunfire and the imminent possibility of death, it wouldn't actually be too bad. Hmm. Yeah. It still goes in the rock box, but that's besides the point. Right. Let's move on to what I can only assume is breakfast. I have no idea how to prepare this. It's all in French or gym. Don't suck us. Well, if you insist. Eh, eh. And all of my infinite wisdom, whilst I did bring a pair of scissors, I Peter brought the dullest ones available to me in the house. Yes, it's all a collection of foist in a bowl. If you can't see, because the bowl's out of shot. It's surreals. What's the French for milk? <laughs> Do I have to pour milk in it? Don't suckress. What's don't suckress mean? Hello, Jens, I'm a jay jay. I'm up and putting water in it. Oh, for God's sake. Up and down, up and down. Up and down. Thankfully, nothing small like that. Milk. Ugh. What's the worst that can happen? This is from an actual proper dairy. Don't go to your supermarket to buy your milk unless you want cows to suffer. Let's give that a little bit more actually. I'm either making soup or cereal. Mm. It's all like little dried, I can't, you can't bloody see. <laughs> it's all like dried bits of lump, but it's forming a nice 
texture and a, um, a really amazing smell. That's actually quite, I'd have that as cereal if it just smelled like that. That's, um, hmm. Anyway, let's just let's, let that sit for a, a couple of seconds as Larry to decide what it wants to be. Bit, let a bit of the moisture through it. Let's try some of the other, uh, the little confectionery that comes with it. Let's try the Andros. I don't know what Andros is. I'm, I'm imagining this is some form of yoghurt. Let's give it a squeeze to the top. Oh no, it's jelly. Yay. Jelly. Hmm. On the Mad Scientist Dream, yes, that is actually quite nice. <laughs> it's it's just like Hartley's jelly. I should imagine you put this on your toast if for some reason the war zone you're particularly fighting in has a toaster and a roll and a, a, a loaf rather of uh, Robinsons. Mm. Yeah. I like that. I'm aware that I am just eating jam, but that's besides the point. <laughs> Alright then, we've uh, give this a, actually no we'll um We'll do this. I don't like dark chocolate. So um, we'll see how much soil this tastes like. Oh my god, what on earth going on here? Oh, it's, it certainly smells like dark chocolate. Not cheap dark chocolate, are they? It doesn't actually smell like good dark chocolate. Ugh. 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 Better. Why must my neighbours make so much noise? Yeah, you know, as dark chocolate goes, that's not bad, but I just don't like it. It's far too bitter for me. I prefer milk or occasionally I'll have white. Let's try this. I don't know if I'm supposed to heat it up. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. It's all in French, like. Hmm. Yeah, I can confirm it's fruity muesli. Quite nice, nice fruity muesli. Mm. I'll keep that to the side in case the next thing tastes like shit. Very chewy. Let's do this. I like nougat. I like fruit, but do they belong together? It's a lump of white trapped in the plastic container because it's gone sticky. Let me in, I'll be your friend. Thank you. It's all squishy. Nibble. You know, that's actually quite nice. Yeah. Um, Oh, the French are doing quite well here. Yeah. Right, let's move into some of the slightly more terrifying tins. So we've got the upside down poor sandwich. Let's see if we can identify any words that sort of look like ham or duck. Preparation of a thong like an et mayonnaise. Please don't be mayonnaise. Thong, carrots, harry, um, mustard, and something from that conservatory. Oh goody! Oh, that's a that's a sight. That's a. Mm. Oh, that's a. Oh, that's a. Wow, that's actually a really nice smell. I just got a whiff of it. I was like, oh, what? Oh no, yes. Actually, smells really nice. <laughs> I've got nothing to eat it. Oh, I'm gone. Biscuit to camping. Are they chocolate biscuits? I don't know. There's a chocolate bar on them. Aha! Yes! Biscuits to campaign. Yes! Yes! I'll taste these first just in case they're sweet because I don't want to pull the. Mmm. I'll be, I'll be really irritated it's like fuck all, but you know, <laughs> I'm just going to beg us to be choosers. Let's uh, splodge this round. Yeah, I believe it's tuna. 
Either that or this is a really unwild duck when they, when they, or goose when they killed it. Yeah, you know what, that actually, as far as pate goes, that actually looks quite nice. But if you have a goose liver pate, it just sounds really, really cruel. I'll put a big splodge on there, splodge, splodge. I can imagine that French people are already planning to go to my house and shoot me for the way in which I uh, prepare this. That's actually quite nice, pate. I'm starting to think some of these are... Ah, yes, yeah, see. Two, two and two. So there's got chocolate in them. Two lots of chocolate in them. Chocolate, and they're plain. I know there's a plain one. Ah. Some of cereally, some of... I think I've got the proper ones. That's actually quite nice, pate. I must track down this manufacturer and see if I can get some in this country. I will just sit and eat this with a spoon. I like it. I like it a lot. Next item is the fromage fund. Well, it's just going to be a lump of cheese. I'm not going to s melt it. I've got better things to do in my life which is eventually die. Yes, it's cheese. God, it's just as bad as the drink. It smells like feet. Oh God, it smells like a children's ball pit. It's just feety hatred. Ugh, why do I keep sniffing it? Right, I'll leave another cracker for this. Let's, uh, let's prod with a knife. Mmm, Frenchy spread cheese. Does it smell? It doesn't smell any better if you pierce the film at the top. That's just a... Uh, well, you know what? It's, it's cheese. All cheese smells vaguely like feet. It's where the phrase cheesy feet comes from. I'm thinking of any excuse to not put this in my face hole. I'm going to nibble a little bit off, so I'm just going to move it out of my own way. There we go. Yeah. I can't stop sniffing it. Why? <laughs> I do not approve. It doesn't taste horrible. It just doesn't taste. There's just there's nothing that gives me any hint that that's cheese. That could be polyfiller. That could be bathroom sealant for all I know. Um, and I'm sorry. But the French, a nation of cheese-eating surrender monkeys, I would have expected just a little bit better, maybe. Especially if you it to your soldiers, you know. You go and fight in this uh, war. Take this shit cheese with you. Let's try this ingredients. Jarette de Paul. Um, hmm. Hmm. Fuck it. <laughs> it could be poison, it could be the nicest tasting thing we've ever encountered in YouTube history. Uh, <laughs> forced a birth out. It's another thing that doesn't look very nice. What's that supposed to be? It looks like bird seed. It looks like one of them lumps of thing you can get from a pet shop and you're supposed to hang on like your fence or the bird bite it. It's also oozing out some sort of yellow phlegm. The, this is not a good sign. I've snuffed it with me sniffer. And it smells quite pleasant. What is it with the French? What can't they just make things look nice and smell nice at the same time as well? Of course, they look at Paris, it stinks, but it's a beautiful city. Let's, uh, let's explore underneath. Ah, oh, yes. Goo. I'm not heating any of this up, because uh, for those of you in the know, there's no microwaves or ovens in the middle of the desert. Or wherever uh, our enemy so happens to be, according to um, government fear mongering oil giants. I don't know what this is. I'm concerned. That was a big lump of something. I'm going to put this entire thing in my mouth, well, and if I wrench onto this new rug, um, well, it would it was nice knowing you, but I think my mother would kill me. How?
Mm. That's not bad. And anyway, let's have an actual just regular drink. With the rest of the water. I bought an extra glass just in case there was something other than canal water. <sighs> Cleanse the palate. And that's actually not bad. I can't imagine what circumstances in which you'd eat it with, like what you'd pair it with. I couldn't tell you unless you'd just what, eat a tin of this and some, maybe a, a baguette, I don't know. I thought that's actually quite nice. So, no, 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 no. Yeah. Perhaps I should look more into French things in a tin for some future videos. Yes, let's look at this now. This I fear the most because I don't know what those two lumps are, but I'll be really honest, I really don't want to know. <laughs> I don't know, I'm hoping that's sauce, the French for sausages, because I really don't know. Moment of truth, boys and girls. Okay, then, that's... Hmm. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> it looks like a splat. I think we're going to have to remove the contents from the uh, plate. Oh, it's a sausage. It is a sausage. It's it's gone splat. Sausage and rice. Sausage and rice in some something slightly orange. Oh, it's kidney beans. Mm. Yes, 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 yes. I see. Yes, indeed, indeed. Oh, we've got a um a sausage. I have a tin, so it will be indefinitely uh, penis flavored with uh, all the meat quality of a shoe and uh, some rice and some of the, the uh, last thing I tried on just a uh... yeah there we go it's um it's a sausage all right <laughs> I presume it's cooked it's in this tin and it's already uh, pre-exploded on the side so it's clearly been near heat oh 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 <laughs> mm. I think the taste's not bad. It's just the bloody texture's horrid. Oh, I wouldn't know. Ooh. No. No, oh, thank you, Mr. Postman. <laughs> you jump. No, that's not a nice texture you want in your sausage. Let's try the rice. <laughs> okay, let's drop the rice all over the table. Yay, this cloth's going for another ride in a washing machine later. Bollocks. Like something finger. Let's try the rice. Oh, and let's smash the camera. Oh. It's in my mouth. Mission accomplished. <laughs> mm. I can't really identify what the flavour's supposed to be. It's like mild spice, but it's just overrun with salt. That's pretty much anything in a tin always is. I have to preserve it. Let's look at some of the final few things we've got. Just a couple of the little proteiny things. We've got an intense energy energy bar. And slightly greasy fingers, so I can't open anything. This may have oh god, what a colour. Oh god, that's a dog too. That's for your dog, isn't it? That's a mm. yes, I'm sure. Mm -mm -mm. Oh <laughs> god, why must I sniff things? Ugh. Ugh. It's it's a it's a pencil eraser. <laughs> Ugh. It's just, it's, it just smells like compressed revels, like the coffee revels, it just, ugh, I don't like it. I must try it for the internet, I'll nibble it. The dogs come in to offer moral support after barking in the garden. No. Oh. It just tastes like coffee grounds. Ugh. What are you, bark among the fruit rouges? Let's try this. Nothing can taste. Oh, it's the same colour. <laughs> uh, right, let's sniff it. I won't know. It smells like fruity sweeties. Like cheap, generic, fruity sort of sweet. Mm. Nom, 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 nom. What a grainy texture. <laughs> it's very sugary, very very fruity, but it just it's, it's like rubbing a mouth 
swilling a mouthful of sugar around. Oh, I've dropped it in the nice pate. Ow. Oh, I might make it taste nicer. <laughs> that wasn't some sort of novelty sound effect. The, the rubber stopper that I beat upon the open milk just popped itself off and threw itself across the room. <laughs> My milk has officially surrendered. Oh, well. Oh, yeah, the only other things in this really are some napkins. I mean, napkins. Now let's go in the cupboard of things. It's some third. I think it's just instant coffee. We all know what that tastes like. You know, you can arsey. You really send you like matches and stuff. I wonder if, that's, if there's any other things inside here other than just this collection of sachets. Let me in. Let me in. I want to. I want to sample your insides. I'm failing. <laughs> I'm failing. <laughs> There's a fine art to opening plastic bag. Yeah, we've got thread. We've got um, Baron's de Monde. Baron's de Monde. De de uh, salt and pepper. Sugar. Sugar, some more salt and pepper. And one big ass thing of... I don't know, this is it's instant. What do you mean it's instant? Loads of things will be instant if you try. Pot noodles technically are if you don't mind crunching them. Well, yeah, I was hoping for that matches or something like that in there. You know, the normal paraphernalia you tend to see. But now that's just your collection of tea, salt, pepper, and sugar, and all that foist. But yeah, this has been a French MRE. It's uh, been surprisingly good. There's nothing really that's been that catastrophically bad apart from that horrid drink. And it, like I said, there's this. There's this fire doodah that comes with it, so you could keep these tins if you wanted, but at the end of the day, not everyone has, no one really would. Let's have a look at the inside, what is it? It's uh, some thing in a, a mini fork, what? There's a tiny fork in here. Okay, now I'm curious. So you're a thing, you're a, what the? Oh, the, oh, there is, oh, the matches are in here. Oh, oh look, it's a tiny thing of matches of the Arctic Triumph on them. Oh, some toothpicks. God, they look tiny. And slightly, actually, well made. There's a, 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 a what? A, a chunk of metal. All right then. If you insist. Oh, here's the weird metal bag you put it in. Some more metal. Some fire starting and some fire starting pallets. They might actually come in handy at some point for barbecues. And a flame combustible solid. Of all of the things, I'm going to keep the tiny Arc de Triomphe matchbox. No, I have no idea why. I don't need a match. I live in the, uh, the modern years. We have lights. Oh, yeah, little matches. A bit cheap looking, actually. Yeah, that's what was in there. Some toothpicks. And it's ah, I see. I think. So you, you sort of bend... The Um, yeah, you sort of bend it into like a thing, then it's got, like, I don't know if I'm doing this the right way around, it's got legs and that holds the tin like that. I see, I don't know what this bit does, but we'll figure that out later. And then you pop your tin on top of it, like that. Ah, that's actually slightly smart, I suppose, <laughs> in a way. Well, yes. Um, my name is a bit insignificant fallow. You can follow me over on my Instagram or the Facebook page for the channel if you want to uh, get caught up on all the goings on. You know, why I haven't actually uploaded in months on end. It's not because I'm filled with hatred, it's because we've been redecorating this room. But yes, the, uh, from now on forwards, the regular video schedule will be back to normal. One video every two weeks, as well as seasonal specials, the occasional vlog, and all that nice noise. But yes. Um, if you want to go and fight in an army, I'll go for the French one. The food's better. Bye-bye. Oh, and don't forget to like and subscribe too. That'd be very helpful.